vlog. I am sitting here. Got my fluids pumping. I don't know if you can see them. Um, running them at five hours today instead of four for some extra hydration. Well, like just so it's in my system for longer. Had a rough night stomach wise yesterday. I ate dinner and then I got these horrible, horrible, horrible abdominal cramps. Um, and had kept having to go to the bathroom like number two. Two? It's impossible to do it. Two? Yeah, number two. And um, I was up until 1 a.m. with that, so it was, that was pretty miserable. And then I woke up this morning, and will you believe it? My stomach freaking grumbled at me after all that it put me through last night. It grumbled at me. So, it's not really much in the house that I think I could tolerate, so my sister went and grabbed this for me. I call it fruit jerky. It's about the texture of beef jerky, but it's just sliced mangoes from Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's nearby. Nate brought them to me when he came to visit from Charlotte, so. Yeah, it's not, it's really good. And my stomach doesn't seem to hate it as much as fresh fruit. Anyways, I have a pain management appointment today, so I'm gonna bring you guys along on that. We are on our way to, wow, my hair is like still a mess. <laughs> We're on our way to the pain management doctor. Um, he's actually a rheumatologist, so he's not a pain management doctor. So what I'm gonna ask him to do this time is to refer me to a pain management doctor. So hopefully we can manage my pain a little bit better because that's like our current plan is just not working. But um, good news is the one piece of fruit jerky I had didn't totally destroy my stomach. So I'm thankful for that. And yeah, we're on our way to a doctor. And I will update you guys. I don't really film in his office because it's such a small office. It's like we don't even wait in the waiting room for 10 minutes. Like it's just go, go, go. And uh, it's a pretty fast appointment. So, yep. I'll update you guys afterwards and hopefully we figure something out that will help with this pain I've been having lately. So we just got out of the doctor and we are driving to get some food. So if you hear Siri, that's why, because we are going to try a new restaurant, which may be another terrible mistake because my stomach is hurting and I'm belching. I have this deep pain like right here and I forgot to bring my abort meds, like my dicyclamine, which helps with cramps. So I don't know, I might regret this, but whatever, I have to eat. Um, so the plan with my pain management for now is basically I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing with taking the hydrocodone when the pain's really bad. And he's referring me to something like a pain management doctor. That doctor will hopefully have some ideas of what to do to help with my pain if that's going to be, we don't really know if that's going to be like a narcotic patch instead of the oral medication because the oral medication isn't really preferred for me because my gastroparesis is so stupid and it takes a while for pills to kick in or if it's gonna be you know something else I'm not really sure but yeah we just have to wait for that referral to go in so we can make an appointment with that pain management doctor I guess I was sort of just best case scenario I mean like I said he's a rheumatologist he's not a pain management doctor so he can't really prescribe maintenance narcotics which would be kind of the next step for me or an invasive procedure so he can't do either of those things so now it's in the pain management doctor's hands to handle that i'm really annoyed at the lighting right now because my face is like yeah so now it's just all dark <laughs> so yeah that hopefully i'm just hoping that the pain management doctor is understanding and caring and wants to do something because we've seen a pain management doctor a different one in the past and he just gave me um, a serotonin inhibitor or up inhibitor and um, Cymbalta is what it's called and I was of course allergic to it because my body hates antidepressants like with a passion and um, then after that he just kind of dropped me as a patient he was like well there's really nothing else I can do for you so we're hoping that this one has more ideas than that and that he can you know help because Right now things are pretty sucky. But also if I get a new wheelchair, that will help. So it's just like, we're kind of attacking the pain for multiple areas right now. And yeah, we're gonna go get some food at this fancy Japanese restaurant. I am home and there's Tom. 
Tonka! And I wanted to show you guys something really cute. So, I've been working on this command since he was a baby and a couple weeks ago he was able to do it without me like luring him to do it and now it's just my favorite thing to make him do. Gotta get the treats. Hi baby! Good boy! Alright, you ready to do a command? Ready? Chuck, can you spin? Oh, that's so good! So good! Can you do it again, ready? Spin! Good boy! So good! So those were sleepy puppy spins, but he did them anyways. I just think it's so cute! I don't know. I think it's adorable. He's a really good puppy. Anyways, we're home. I had like literally three bites of the food that we got, and then I got really sick, so really nauseous, so. Oh well, I had some carrot cake when we came home. That felt a little bit better, and now we're just resting. When he asks nicely, Sherlock's allowed to snuggle on the bed with me. He's yet to take like a nap on the bed because he just gets so excited once he gets on the bed that he wants to sniff and be awake, but he gets on the bed for a little bit and gets his snuggles. And then I usually kick him off when he gets too crazy. Like you're doing right now. That pillow's not a chew toy. Well, it's like 11 o'clock at night and I am really tired. It also smells like stinky dog that ran outside and ate a bunch of grass in here. So I'm not super pumped. I took a shower though. So usually I shower on Mondays and Fridays. And it's Wednesday. But I had to shower because I went to this restaurant and I still smelled like the food. And it was just driving my OCD insane. But now I'm really tired, and it's really late, so I'm gonna try to go to bed. I guess that's the end of today's vlog. Nothing really eventful to report, and yeah, thank you for watching today's vlog. Good night.